Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the HTC One. We're going to show you how you can extend the storage on your handset. Now, the model I have here is a 32 gigabyte model. Whether you have this one or the 64 gigabyte model, you don't get a micro SD card slot with it. So the storage that comes with the device is pretty much all you have. But we're going to show you how you can add on top of that. I just want to point out that this device is not rooted. It's completely stock as it comes out the box when you get it. What you're going to need for this is a USB on the go cable. Now this costs a couple of pounds here in the UK and I think in the States it's much of a muchness to be fair, a couple of dollars maybe, but the links will be in the description if you're after one. And as you can see along the one side you get a standard USB 2.0 port, along the other you get a standard mini USB connector which plugs into the bottom of the HTC One. No configuration required and as you can see it pops out a little bit but it's still pretty sturdy. And what I'll point out to you is it will say unable to charge a device purely because the handset thinks it's a charger. So what we'll do, just put that down a second. What we're essentially going to be doing is testing out a bunch of memory sticks and adapters that we have here, see how they fare. So we've got the one gig integral memory stick here. Just plug that in like so. It's formatted with the FAT32 file system. And as you can see there it says preparing USB and now it says it's ready. Now I don't think the HTC One comes with a file extorer as standard. So what we'll do is go to the Play Store, download one called ES File Explorer. I like this one quite a lot. It's free, doesn't cost nothing, so I'll open it up because I've already got it installed. It takes you straight through to the SD card of the phone because the phone doesn't have an SD card port. By the term SD card, it means the internal 32 gig storage. So tap on where it says SD card, gives you a couple of options for internal storage, aka SD card zero, or the USB, whatever's plugged into the USB on the Go cable. So tap on that and it takes us through to the content. So it displays it fine from the USB one gig memory stick here. We've got some images there, let's see how they fare. Work fine. They open up as if they're on the device itself. Pinch and zoom works as it should. We've also got a music track, so we'll try that. We're gonna skate to one song. No rep. That plays as normal. Nothing out of the ordinary there. It's syncing fine, it doesn't break up, it doesn't do anything out of the ordinary. It's as if it's playing it from the unit itself. So we'll just put that down a second, remove the integral one gig memory stick, and we'll leave it there. Next up, we have the SanDisk Cruiser 8 gig, again formatted with the FAT32 file system. So that's plugged in. Again, it says USB storage safe to remove. So I think it may have been delayed a little bit from the last one. But uh, let's see, if we go to storage, Again, it gives us a two storage options for internal or USB. We'll go to USB and it says uh, folder is empty, which is a little bit strange because I'm pretty sure there's files on here. So if we come out of this, go to settings and go to storage. I want to see if it's actually mounted it. No, it hasn't. So along the bottom, you can see USB storage unavailable and it gives you the option for mount USB. So if we tap on that, sometimes this happens where the USB drive doesn't automatically mount. And if it doesn't, you can just mount it from here. And now you can see the capacities of the drive are appearing. So what we'll do is go back to the file explorer that we had ES and go back to storage and go select USB. And there we have the contents of this eight gig USB drive here. So if we scroll down, have we got any images? Yeah, we've got a PNG file there. We'll open that up, see how that looks. That opens up fine, brilliantly. Pinch and zoom, that's fine. That works as it should do. And what we'll do, I can also see some PDFs here. So let's see if we can load one of those up, see how those fair. Yeah, that works fine. Interview questions, I can't remember how old that is, but there we go. The PDFs work as fine as you can see here. So we'll just go back and scroll back to the top and we can see we've got some media files, music here. So we'll play another music track, see how that fares. So as we heard there, plays beautifully, no break up at all. You can't even tell that it's been streamed from the memory stick. It's as if it's on the device itself. So we'll go back here and what we'll do is unplug the 8 gig SanDisk Cruiser, leave that there a second. And what we'll now look at is the SanDisk Switch 32 gigabyte memory stick. Again, this is formatted in the FAT32 file system. NTFS file systems do not work with this handset and XFAT file systems do not work with this handset. And as you can see, the file explorer has picked it up. If we go back to storage, then USB, it gives us the contents of this 32 gig USB drive here. And as you can see, we've got a couple of movie trailers here, so we'll load up one of them. Uh, we'll try Pacific Rim, 
just get that loaded up with the standard Explorer. We'll get it going back a little bit. Discovered us. See danger. They never considered our ability to stand. Watch. Chosen to believe in each other. Today we face the monsters that are at our door. Today we are canceling the apocalypse. Go back there. How awesome did that look? Streaming from the USB memory stick, audio perfectly in sync with the video, no issues at all. You can't even tell that it's been streamed via the USB on the go cable. So again, we'll put that there. That works fine. And come out of the memory stick we'll just leave that there next up what I want to show you is a Sony USB 2.0 adapter to SD card so we'll get this plugged in here and what we'll do is slot in a SD card adapter like so and then what we'll do is uh, use this it's a SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte micro SD card so what we'll do just plug that in like so to the SD card adapter which then plugs into the USB adapter here and then plugged into the phone. So here we go. Go back to storage, go to USB, and again it's saying empty folder, so it will come out to this, go to settings, then go to storage, see if it's actually mounted it, and it doesn't look like it has, it says unavailable, so we'll do mount to USB storage, preparing USB storage, please wait. As I say, this happens from time to time, not every USB device automatically mounts, so now it's given us the capacities there, and as you can see, it's mounted the 64 gig card there. So we'll go back to the file explorer. Here we go. And we'll go back to storage, USB. And as you can see, it displays the contents of the 64 gig micro SD card through all the various adapters. And essentially, this is what I want to show you that no matter what adapters you put it through, as long as it's connected into the USB on the go cable, it will display on the HTC one here as long as the file format is FAT32. And we can see we've got some photographs there, HD ones, so what we'll do is select one there and we'll open it with the gallery and you, as you can see there it's opened up the photograph fine of Emma Stone here and if we go back I'm sure we've got another one of Downey Jr. some here, yeah here we go one of the screen comparisons we did previously so that works perfectly as normal as well so what we'll do, put that down, remove the SD card adapter and the SD card itself so we'll leave those there to one side and what we'll do is remove the micro SD card as well leave the SD card adapter there and we'll see if we can plug this with only one adapter into the USB on the go cable so we're going to be using this this is an integral USB 2.0 to micro SD card adapter so along the one side you've got the USB 2.0 port there along the other you can see the slots for the micro SD card. So if we just bring the micro SD card back in, all it does is slot right in there. And what you do is just plug it straight in to any USB port like so. And if you go back to the devices it's preparing USB, USB storage is ready. And if you go back to storage and then USB again, it should display the contents of this micro SD card that we have going through just the one adapter this time. So again, HD photographs we got Emma Stone here again. We should see Robert Downey Jr. There he is. A couple of extra ones that we have in there. The honeycomb bees. Look how good they look. You can't even tell they're being streamed by the USB on the go cable. So we'll just put that down a second. We'll just remove the micro SD card from its USB 2.0 adapter that we have here. And essentially what I'm trying to get across to you is that no matter what you plug into the USB adapter into the HTC one as long as it's formatted with the FAT32 file system and it's mounted it will work. Other devices like portable hard drives the phone will not be able to power so as long as the power has been taken care of for example you plug it into the mains and you just plug it into the USB on the go cable here as long as that drive is formatted in FAT32 the phone will recognize it. The only issue with FAT32 is that you can't have file sizes bigger than four gigabytes so you can't have one single file for example a movie file one file cannot be bigger than four gigabytes in size and the final thing that I wanted to show you and just to show you that anything other than a FAT32 file system will not work is this the Galaxy S4 
formats all of its micro SD cards when you format them into an X FAT file system. So what we're going to do, take the micro SD card out of the Galaxy S4 that we have there. And what we'll do is put it in this adapter again. This is another 64 gig card. Plug that into this adapter. And then what we'll do is plug it into the USB on the go cable and then bring up the phone and look, it says, blank USB storage. USB storage blank or has unsupported file system. FAT32 file system works fine on the HTC One, but if you take a micro SD card from any other device that uses the X FAT file system, like the Galaxy S3, the S4, the Note 2, will not work straight away on the HTC One. So you'll need to reformat it from another device and then put it back in the HTC One, just purely because the HTC One doesn't have the options to format a micro SD card. So if we go through to storage here, there's no options to format. There's only for mount storage and mounting just does nothing. It just populates a blank USB storage message there. So once you tap on it, it still does nothing. It doesn't prompt you to format the card or do anything with it. So you just keep on getting the message in the notifications area. So what you can do, just remove the micro SD card from its adapter, get another device that can use FAT32 file systems and has a micro SD card port being the Sony Xperia Z or the Galaxy S2 can do it or any previous incarnations of uh, the HTC One there. Once you've got that plugged in, turn the device on obviously. Once your device unlocks, if we go to the notifications area here as well, it says blank SD card, SD card blank or has unsupported file system because the Sony Xperia Z also cannot see X FAT file systems. It needs to be FAT32. So once you tap on it here, it'll say, are you sure you want to format the SD card? Yes, format. Now the reason why you can't do this on the HTC One is because natively it doesn't have a micro SD card port. So they've taken the option away to format the cards. So that's now done. And what we can do is open up the micro SD card cover, take the SD card out, if I can get my fingers in there, there we go. And what we'll now do, plug this in via the USB adapter, if I wasn't so clumsy. There we go, get that put in there, and then plug it straight into the USB on the go cable of the HTC One, and look, it says preparing USB storage, USB storage is ready, and now look, it's picked up the capacity of the card, 59.45 gigabytes on mount USB storage. It gives you the option for so it's automatically mounted it. So if I go back into my file explorer, it should be completely empty because I've got nothing on this card. So go to storage, then USB. You get the standard default files on there. No personalized files because it's empty. So if you've got an SD card which is formatted in the XFAT file system, what you need to do is put it into a device that can format in the FAT32 file system. As I say, previous HTC devices can do this. Sony Xperia Z can do this. The Samsung Galaxy S2 can do this. Unfortunately, the S3, the S4 and the Note 2 cannot because they accept the XFAT file system. And depending on what type of PC you have, that may be able to format in the FAT32 file system as well. And that's how we increase the storage on the HTC One using a USB on the go cable. Hopefully I haven't confused you guys. I just wanted to show you what adapters and memory sticks you can use with this and how you can convert the file system so that they are compatible with the HTC One. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.